Hey everyone, Des here with another awesome video, and this delicious scene right here is a little something I like to call an A1 tactical calorie bomb. Mmm, delicious. It's 12.51 in the morning, and I'm sick of uh, sorting cards, so <laughs> had to make myself a giant bacon bomb. What we got is we got bacon, we got cheddar cheese, A1 steak sauce, uh, turkey, and whole wheat, because, you know, gotta make it healthy. So, but what's under it? Ready? Something equally delicious. Boom! Those are the two uh, expedition lands that I pulled. We've got uh, Smoldering Marsh, which it's never going to focus on. Hey, look at my crappy camera. Awesome. Look at that. And Sacred Foundry. Very nice. Equally crappy shot of the camera there. <laughs> Should have taken them out. But uh, I only had to open uh, eight boxes to get them. That's not bad. And technically I only had to open six if you do it chronologically. <laughs> so not bad at all. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I wish I could have done the openings on camera, but where I was, I didn't have a camera. But uh, I got two more boxes that I think I'll open on camera just in case I go for the big old triple header. But so far I'm the only person in the area that pulled uh, multiple, I guess. So uh, more on that later, though. There's a little bit more to that. For now, you're probably wondering why there's Eldrazi Scion tokens over here. Well, let's take a closer look at what's going on with these guys. Uh, hopefully you can see this on the camera. You can see the top there. Yep, now see the top right. <laughs> Everything's backwards. Right there. Uh, this is just not working. Well, just take my word for it. They're all damaged. <laughs> there we go. So they have that little nick in the top, and they're all almost in exactly the same place. Now, here's the fun thing. These came from two different boxes from Southern Hobby. These came from two different boxes direct from Wizards. I know that because I know where my vendors get my stuff. So, how did they manage to screw up in the same way? And by the way, I have like 20 of these. I only brought four as an example. How did they screw up all the Eldrazi Scions? Like, all of them, theoretically. Kind of weird. I mean, all three different artworks right there represented, and they all just have massive head injuries, I guess you would say. Um, very strange. Uh, I guess somehow they're getting damaged. Now the boosters that they were in were completely undamaged. All the cards around them were just fine. And the boxes were in perfect condition. So no other cards at all were damaged. It's just Eldrazi Scion. So I don't know if like somebody has a vendetta against them or something. I don't know. I'm sure it's just some hilarious flaw. But speaking of hilarious flaws that aren't funny at all, let me break this down. You're probably going to get where I'm going with this real quick, but I'll give you the, the mathematics of it at the end. I go to a tournament pre-release, uh, about 110 people. So these are the pre-release packs, okay? The, you know, those little green foil ones. Um, two people, well, three people total pulled expeditions, but two of them were the same. I believe they were Scalding Tarns. They pulled two Scalding Tarns. Pretty good. Okay, fast forward. Uh, me... And the person behind me in line, so theoretically from the same case, uh, we opened our boxes together and we both got a smoldering march. Now, fast forward to the Fat Pack Challenge, which is only about 30 to 40 people all competing with uh, Fat Packs. Because um, the first one was booster, or the second one was booster boxes. Uh, fat Packs. Um, only two expedition lands were pulled, and they were both. Um, let me think. Uh, they were one of the recent fetches. I don't remember exactly which one. I think it was Flooded Strand, if I remember correctly. Um, I think that's what it was. So, the probability of a person pulling one at all, and then a second person within the same pool of cards pulling the exact same one uh, three times in those pools, I did the math, it's roughly one in a hundred million. So, <laughs> assuming that it wasn't some Bermuda Triangle random luck Powerball level lightning strike. Um, what the this means is that if you buy a product, pretty much any product, um, from one shop, and they all came on, a, I would think the same pallet is what it would turn out to approximately be. Not necessarily the same case, obviously not the same box, because you're buying boxes, but if they came on the same pallet, whoever pulls one Expedition Land, the next ones in that, that shipment, we'll say, or order, uh, are extremely more likely to contain the exact same one. So, uh-oh, <laughs> patterns are very bad. This, this harms online sellers because, let's say, they get, you know, five pallets and they just keep pulling the same expedition lands and they can't pull expeditions that you know, would have mathematically been ones that they would pull. Like, they pull, like, eight of one, eight of one, and then just zero of the rest or something. Uh, obviously, it would be more than that, but that's going to harm the online sellers because they have pre-orders for these, and they 
can't fill them because it can't pull them because they aren't random. So, a little bit of a problem. I really don't care about them because I don't like most of the online sellers. You know, I like supporting local, but I kind of get it. I don't absolutely hate them, but they undercut me on eBay, so I don't like that. But, um, whatever, tough nuts to them. But, uh, this is a problem because, uh, let's say you saw somebody pull a Scalding Tarn. Well, buy up the rest of the store. I mean, they probably won't let you do that, but uh, theoretically, if you were able to do that, like on a second print, you might be able to, you know, buy up four or five cases if the person with the first case on that um, shipment got like a really good pull. But obviously, your odds are a thousand, maybe ten thousand times more likely, maybe a hundred thousand times more likely that you'll pull that exact one that they just pulled. I mean, you don't just see p pairs of two at three different events and three different products. So obviously what they did is they printed like a sheet of like 36 of these or whatever, cut them up, and then put them spread out, but not spread out enough. I mean, one pallet, I think, is like, it's got to be at least a hundred cases. Um somewhere around there. Somebody told me what it was precisely once, but um, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> that's a lot of booster packs. That's like thousands and thousands of booster packs. So from that one pallet, you're not going to have a representative amount of expedition lands, apparently. You're just not. So that means there's going to be patterns, and anytime there's patterns, there's people trying to exploit it, and it's just all a really bad situation that, speaking of bad situations and wizards, they're probably not going to comment on. They're probably... People are going to just light up Reddit and Facebook and everything about this, and nobody's going to comment on it. They're going to say that people are just lying and whatever. I mean, I have no proof. I didn't film it, but I'll tell you it happened. I mean... Whatever. <laughs> so, it's just like when they said that they fixed box mapping, and then they didn't, it turned out. And then the next set, they said they really did, and then I think that one they actually really did. And now we're, like, back. I mean, this is, like, whole box mapping, like, you know, like, clean out the store mapping, but, um, whatever. I mean, it's a good way to come up with, like, six or seven or eight, you know, especially if you're the shopkeeper. That's what I'm worried about, so... Definitely not the greatest situation, but um, I don't know, if you see your friend pull one, buy more than you would have, I guess, because your odds are way better. Now the weirdness continues. Out of my first three boxes, I pulled 24 foil full art lands. 24. I mean, what? <laughs> like, I don't know what the exact probability is I didn't do it, but it's probably not that much. I mean, from past experience, I think the last time I opened up 14 boxes, I got 7. So, to get 24 from 3 seems a little bit off. And then um, I got 3 more boxes from a different vendor. I went 3 and 3 this time. And um, those I got 1 out of all 3 boxes. Just 1. So the fact that I pulled 24 means somebody else is getting 0 or near to 0. Now these cards on eBay right now are 10 bucks a piece. So that's $240 that I'm not complaining about. But really wish these packs were random. They're moving from random and no problems, no patterns, as far as I've heard, to problems and problems and problems and patterns and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just like Modern Masters 2015. They either accidentally or purposely made all mythic boxes. That's kind of weird. Now, everybody said, oh, now there's somebody else with no mythics in theirs. Maybe not. Maybe they printed the ratio wrong and they started packing up the very last of the boxes for the day and all they had left to randomize were mythics. Because, I mean, what's the probability that your rares and your mythics would run out at exactly the same time? And they're not going to stop boxing them. So I kind of get how that happened. Um, and it's a great bonus. I don't think that it actually deprived other people of mythics. I think they just had nothing but mythics left and then that's what they packaged so this is worse though the expedition problem and the foil land problem very strange i mean this is barely within the realm of reasonable probability that i'm just really lucky so maybe it's not actually a problem but it seems really weird that one full set of three boxes had one and one full set of three boxes had um 24 that it just seems weird to me so uh let me know in the comments if you guys noticed any other strange patterns strange oddities strange card flaws very weird, but this one's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> I still have to post this on some forums online for people who know more than me about card printing, about what the hell this is. Let me just throw the image up. And Okay, so this is a Drowner of Sorrows. Oh, excuse me, it's Drowner of Hope. Not I wish Drown in Sorrows was still legal or whatever. I probably just named another real card, too. But, um... Okay, my friend pulled out of a normal booster box this foil alternate art. Okay, so now you notice the set symbol matches. 
how did that happen? I mean, that can't happen. This this can't be a thing, and yet it was right in front of my eyes. I saw it in person. He didn't, you know, real quick swap him out with a dual deck and thought it was funny. He didn't even buy a dual deck. He's poor as hell. So um, he bought just one box, opened it up, and said, oh, look, cool. Hey, is that an alternate art? I'm like, no, there's no such thing as alternate art foils in this one. And then it was. I, I didn't find another foil of it. That's the problem. Um, but online, on eBay, I looked it up, and everybody has, like, digital pictures. Nobody has, like, a real scan of it. So that's a little bit of a problem. But none of them showed the alternate art. They all just said, hey, foil, here you go, buy it. And then it showed that artwork. You would think if it didn't match the card, they would catch it. But there was only, like, 14 for sale, like, grand total. So... I don't know what to think of this. I don't know. Hopefully one of you guys knows what happened. Maybe they accidentally put, like, an alternate from one of the other decks, like the starter packs or the dual decks or whatever else they print. Maybe they took... They just printed the wrong artwork on top of it and said, oh, crap. It, it actually takes, I think, about two weeks to make a foil card. So they probably just said, ah, screw it, just throw them in there. So there's one automatic alternate. Whether they fixed it or not, I don't know. Now, hopefully, this is a really, really, really tiny mistake, and almost none of these have the, the that set symbol on them, but I didn't actually check the dual decks to see if they have the correct set symbol, so that would suck, because then you would never know if it came out of a booster pack or if it came out of a dual deck or something, so still more research is needed, but that is by far the weirdest thing from my pack opening. I, I just can't even explain it so if i get any more oddities i'll let you know and hopefully i'll be able to open my last two boxes that i have on camera and hopefully pull something really cool for you um hopefully i'll triple up on um expeditions that would be awesome i think if i do i might start doing some giveaways because i'll be way up on this set obviously 240 bucks worth of foil lands i'm already up on this set thanks wizards but um yeah, hopefully uh, with the limited amount of subscribers, you guys will actually have a chance of winning. But yeah, I'd love to give away some stuff because I have like some signed alphas that are pretty cool. Um, like some revised black bordered Italian cards signed by the artist and that kind of stuff. A lot of Mark Pool cards, and I'd love to give them away to you guys. I've also got gold plated dice. I mean, really cool stuff that's just left over from my tournaments. So um, definitely hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss that. So I'll talk to you guys later.